Everest ain't got shit on me. You can touch the sky, but you ain't got shit on me. Yeah. We'll continue in this lesson to how you treat us matters and it affects us. Not just people who you sit next to at a bar in this internet cafe, but in real life and tourist etiquette is a real thing. I was affected a little bit there, thinking about how some of you might be quicker or slower and trying to acclimate, trying to be polite. It can be hard. Um, like when I saw art out of my van, I see people from all walks of life. I saw a couple of kids who travel the world, four of them, I think solo, Egypt, Budapest, and all sorts. They were very intense. You guys are cool, but really intense. Like, stare you right in the eye, get what they're looking for. computer off and go figure your own fucking life out. There's a level of disrespect that people who work in cultural positions face and are used to and are thickened to, but there is unacceptable days sometimes. There are some days that are heinous, truly just the worst sort of days because of, you know, oh, I fucked up, say the n-word, you know, PewDiePie, you know, or, you know, me, I say that sometimes, and if the, if the culture can't find respect, if it decides to be malicious, then I'm supposed to pay for the consequences of your hate, it's hate speech is what it is, true hate speech. Getting in my day, not seeing me for who I am, but for who you think I'm going to be. With hate, with malice, force, and it's emotional abuse to, to for lots of people online who, I mean, the PewDiePie is such a perfect example because he he's on a stream for hours, he's, he's every day, and he actually, he, he says, you know, a, a, a word of pejorative, once and you know, the internet tortures him. You, you, you people who are too sensitive to let a single word go make him face 
consequences of your hate. You, you, you use force and you hurt him and you destroy his career, his life. <coughs> because you're trying to tell him who he is. Because you can't to be tolerant enough to let one word go. You can't be tolerant enough to let a person make a mistake. And you're expecting him to be white cloth when you yourself don't face the responsibility of your own hate speech. It's illegal hate speech to, to, to put emotional abuse on a person who doesn't want it. And the internet is cruel and unusual because people want power. People think, ah, he fucked up now. I have to decide to ruin his life. Or so, there's something. I've lost my train of thought. If, if this lesson is too hard for you, let me tell you, in, in a lot of places where culture moves slower, people say things that people on the internet don't like. They say people, they say things that aren't ethical. And if, if you decide to hate, if you decide to, to not be civil to people who grew up different than you, who have different suites of truth, who respect patience and forgiveness or expect at least the opportunity to be forgiven without being harassed and hurt and destroyed. A lot of small towns in America know exactly what I'm saying. We swear. And if, and if it is such a difficult thing to understand that we are using our freedom of speech to explore things that you know, or, or have opinions that aren't ethical or aren't fair. Let me tell you something. Not everyone in this world is the best at everything. No one is the best at everything. There is always something somebody is going to be better than you at. On the internet, every single field, you can Google it. You can put it on Twitter. You can have a, a quote. And there is always, I have that quote on Twitter, there's always, I have this paraphrased quote on Twitter, there's always somebody better than you and what you do. So if ethics comes into play, when it, when it comes down to the sophistication of dialectics, of, of, of the truth and focus, the truth and the data of focus, you know? Then some, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. So people, people fuck up, and you know, people also choose to to hate people who aren't perfect because they they want to project and decide who you are with a militia of love. They think love, they think loving somebody is the higher ethic every time. It's not. Some some people don't want to be loved. Some people don't want to be loved the way you love them. And that that is harassment, it's emotional abuse, and it's evil. The counterpart, the, the exact, the exact uh, truth that love is evil comes from the understanding that if you love somebody who really fucking doesn't want it, it's the same thing as evil. It's a, it is equal. So, you know, trying to tell somebody who they are, who they have to be, because you, you love them and you decide that they're going to be this way, is, is, a, um, is a harassment, is a abuse. And not letting somebody be who they are. Often in a small town, what we do is we'll say something horrible just to see if you even respect who they are at that moment or forever. You know, if you can't accept that people have different opinions, ethical or disrespectful, if, if you aren't civil about it, 
then they won't respect you. And they'll use it as, I, I you know, people use it as a defense mechanism, as a, it, 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 which is... This is a deep paradigm. This is not something, to, this, is a, this is a years of focus. This is not a, something to be disrespected. If you think that, yeah, I don't know. Some I don't think the internet's ready. For, I don't think some people on the internet have respect for people making mistakes or people having bad opinions. People being, you know, of a, of a of a man. People being of a truth that is not of the of the social pyramid building of other people. Some people are racist and that doesn't necessitate them to be a bad person in in some ways, you know. If if they're going out there and picking on people, like the people who pick on people who make a mistake of one word. If if you're going out there deciding on the internet, ah, this guy this guy fucking sucks because he said a couple of bad words. His whole life is fucking he's, you know, you put a placard on him. You're this. You're you're the race. You're the the pejorative. You're you're the standard. The um. There's words for it, you know. But if you hate somebody. With force and uh, harassment, there uh, emotional abuse, to to you know, who who is, you know, of a different set of opinions. A lot of the world is racist. You know, it, it's just because of the differences between us. And a lot of, it's not everyone's task to, to bring everybody together. And if you think it is, you're trying to force somebody to do something that they have been forced to do by you. Or, or they refuse to be forced. Or they're thinking about helping or, you know, but people keep fucking them over. Civility. It's not a hard truth to hear. It's really not. It's a big deal to you that people don't like every broad group. Some people don't like, you know, Mormons. I don't like Mormons. It's a cultural group. So, how you decide you see this is this is a brave thing because the internet is such such a um such a such a new such a new truth i don't expect that you guys are going to appreciate this with you know because some of you are going to just try to take my life take my years worth of thought here and be like Oh yeah, fuck your beer. Fuck your Budweiser. Fuck your Johnny Walker Black. You know, some people I I mean I I, I understand that, that you don't have the patience or intelligence that I have. As a subjectivity as a, as a subjective terms, intelligence being a standard of art. That's too hard for you. There you go.